Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, let's look at a couple of examples. So here in the first one, we're asked to solve 9x is greater than 9 or 5x is greater than 25. So here we're looking for numbers that will satisfy either the first inequality or the second one. Both could be satisfied at the same time, but we're not necessarily looking for them. We're just, we're happy if one of them is satisfied, life is good. So I started this off just to save us a bit of time. Uh, I solved the first inequality because that's what the instruction said, solve each inequality separately. So if 9x is greater than 9, I can divide this 9 over to the other side. 9 over 9 is just 1, so I get x is greater than 1. That's the first inequality solved out. The second one, 5x is greater than 25, I divide both sides by 5, which gives me x is greater than 25 over 5. These two can be reduced into just 5, so I get x is greater than 5. Now if I were to graph these solutions on the number line, which is what the second suggestion was, I'm going to make an open circle above 1 with a line going to the right, because these are numbers that are greater than 1. And then for x is greater than 5, I'm making an open circle above 5 with lines going to the right. And that's really it. I, I'm done with that part of it. I've graphed both solutions. Now because the original question had an or in it, I have to ask a very specific question. Even though these two lines overlap, I can't say, oh, I'm just going to look for the overlap. That's not the case. For or problems, we're looking for where are we covered from the rain. So again, imagine there's rain falling all over you from negative infinity to positive infinity. And you're walking from here to the right. So you're getting wet in this entire region here. So that's not where you're covered you are getting wet at one because imagine again you're holding a hula hoop above your head the rain's going to come right through the hoop you're not protected there so the protection however does start at one so maybe imagine that you get an umbrella here so you have an umbrella all the way through but maybe at five someone hands you a rain jacket so you're double prepared there or you're double covered there so again where are we covered from the rain well, we start our protection at 1, but not at 1, exactly. 1 is not included because it's an open circle, not a solid dot. And you might be inclined to say, well, we run into a hole at 5, but this upper line is protecting you. That's not allowing you to get wet. So you can walk all the way to the right, to the end of the number line, to positive infinity, and be covered from the rain. Now, even though this question doesn't say that, but if the question had said, solve the problem with an and, you would still do the exact same steps. You would still start by solving the first inequality. You would still start by solve, or continue by solving the second inequality. Then in the second step, you would still graph both solutions. So let me erase this, erase that. And we did. However, now we're asking a question about and compound inequality. So here's where we would ask, where is the sandwich? For the sandwich, we would see that the solution would only exist here because that's where the overlap is. And the overlap does not exist at 5. So to borrow from the previous example, that's where the, uh, the slice on the bottom has its left crust cut off. So there's not an overlap of the crust, but everything past 5, there is an overlap. So if it were an and problem, it's not, but let's say that it were an and problem, let's get double duty out of it, then the answer would be 5, oops, that's a bad 5, 5 to infinity. Let's look at another one. Here we have 7x is less than, 40, less than or equal to 49, and 6x is greater than 30. So if we solve the first one, we get 7x is less than or equal to 49, divide both sides by 7, and that gives us x is less than or equal to 49 over 7. 49 over 7 simplifies to just 7. So the first inequality solves out to x is less than or equal to 7. The second one, 6x is greater than 30. We divide both sides by the 6. So that yields x is greater than 30 over 6, which simplifies to 5. So x is greater than 5. Now let's graph both these solutions. x is less than or equal to 7 means a solid dot above 7 and then all the solutions less than or equal to our numbers to the left. x is greater than 5, so open circle above 5, because I'm not allowing 5 to be in the solution, and then going to the right. 
Now that we've done this, we pay attention to, hey, what type of compound inequality was it? Was it an and or was it an or? Since it's an and, we're looking for a sandwich. Where is the overlap? And the overlap is right here. So our solution to this problem would be 5 comma 7. That's where the two lines overlap each other. There is overlap at 7 for both lines. Both lines have 7 in them. So I'm going to include the number 7. However, the bottom line does not have 5 in it. The top one does. It just passes a root through 5. So 5 is included in the top solution, but it is not included in the bottom solution. So we have to exclude it. So that's this example. The, the interval would be this, and if you're asked to graph, then this would be the graph, just the overlap portion. Had this been an or problem, it is not, but just like the previous example, had this been an or problem, then you'd be asking yourself, where are we covered from the rain? So again, the inequality tells you what question that you're asking, or the compound inequality where it tells you, hey, it's raining everywhere. Where are we covered from the rain? And again, hopefully you can see we're covered here by, say, an umbrella. And then between 5 and 7, we're covered by an umbrella and by a rain jacket. And then at 7, maybe we drop off the umbrella to someone else, and then we continue on out with the rain jacket. So we're actually protected from the rain the entire time. Had this been an or problem, the answer would have been negative infinity to positive infinity. It's not. It's an and problem, so the solution's on the left. I'm just, again, pulling double duty for each, each of these examples. And we'll see you in the next video.